Hello guys, it's me Landro Style once again and today I have a simple question. Do you consider yourself a helper? Stay tuned. Okay guys, and today it's been one month since I started doing this project. I think I grew like less than 10 subscribers, which is fine, <laughs> but it is an, uh, a good opportunity for you to actually share it with your friends, with your coworkers, with you know anyone that you like or you don't like, whoever just so I can grow and I can keep bringing you the top five things that I think you should um, know every week. And let's just start with number one, boom. Okay, the question I started with today, uh, are you, do, you consider, do you consider yourself a helper? Do you help people on the regular basis? Do you, um, is that your first instinct to actually help people? Um, this show today I want to dedicate it to a few fundraisers out there and events that happened this week that you should know about. And um, number one is No Shave November. So as you can see, I'm trying to grow my beard because I feel that uh, it is a good opportunity to change my look. <laughs> but at the same time, um, is to bring awareness. Um, uh, no Shave November was a fundraising that started, I think, in 2017 on Facebook um, to bring um, cancer uh, uh, patients awareness. And, you know, it's just kind of uh, brings uh, an opportunity for you to uh, grow hair and you know and show that you know some cancer patients cannot and hopefully as you grow your hair this full month um you can actually donate to their um to the fundraising and you know help uh cancer patients that you know go through a lot so are you a helper do you grow hair can you donate okay okay number two <laughs> All right, and the second for racing that I think you guys should help today uh, that or that happened this week. Um, it was uh, it's a fundraising or an event that is called Baby to Baby, and a whole bunch of celebrities bring the fashion together, and I'm going to show you, of course, fashion. And they go to an event and they have fun and they um, uh, give money or buy tickets to actually give uh, for children's in poverty. And um, Every time I think about that, um, it just right away takes me to a point where I realize how much I have, although it's not that much like a lot of people do, but um, if I have anything, it doesn't matter how much, um, it gives me an opportunity to give back because I feel like if you give, you get back. And, um, and the satisfaction to make other people happy and your own happiness make you happy too. So. Um, yeah, uh, let's just focus on the fashion part of this event, but at the same time, um, it's a great uh, uh, event and a, a great fundraiser that helps children in poverty. So just take a look at the outfits. All right, and number three, um, I just wanted to bring some awareness because I know most people, I, I know people work a lot. And lately, I mean, there's a lot, unemployment rate is very low um so that kind of it is helpful but at the same time you have people working two three jobs at the same time and um it, you know it's difficult kind of it kind of like hinders your quality of life you have to work seven jobs to actually make up um, for all the expenses um, and I just wanted to bring a little bit of a study that Microsoft did this week and they actually try I think it was somewhere in Asia I want to say Japan I think I read it but you know you can actually go read it yourself, um, read it yourself. Um, it is, um, they try this four days week and uh, they show that um, during the month of August, they were able to um, raise their productivity like a 40% just by having people work four days. Who wouldn't like a four days week? I mean, I, I have a four day week and it, it is amazing because I have an extra day during the week that I can catch up and do things that I couldn't do on the weekends. So um, it's just kind of bring awareness of how low uh, unemployment, it is helpful for the economy, but then our quality of life, it is kind of, I don't know. I just want to bring something that we can debate about. Maybe some of you can drop some comments below and then, you know, kind of fight me about it or, you know, enlighten me. Boom, number four. And number four, obviously, you know, guys, how I always talk about politics or anything that we should uh, know about. Um, climate change is something that is not even a secret. If you haven't heard that climate change is happening in the past, I don't know how many years, then you're living under a rock. So just to bring 
some awareness or more awareness to what is already out there. 11,000 scientists actually signed a letter and said, yo, this is an emergency. Like there's like wildfires in California. We're losing eyes in the polar, like Alaska or whatever, like Antarctica, we're losing eyes there. Um, climate change is just going up. The, the ocean is rising. So um, I, I, some people think it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a lie. Some other people choose not to pay attention to it. Um, some other people do believe that it's really happening. It, uh, uh, this is something that you should pay attention to because it is our planet. Like. It doesn't matter how much you can have or how many days you can work if the planet is going to, right? So if you never heard about it, please just Google climate change. All right, and number five and last is a little funny, but not funny. It's just something to lighten the mood after hearing about climate change and, you know, not having enough or working too much. Um, this uh, gold toilet, <laughs> they just broke a Guinness um, record and um, it's not for sales. It counts like, it, it, it costs about a million dollars, I think. I don't mean who needs a million dollars toilet or who has that much, I mean, like, Never mind. I think there's people out there who have that much money to buy a million dollars toilet. And uh, there is, it has diamonds on it. I think it's bulletproof. Who, who's going to get shot while taking a dump? It's just very weird. Just take a look <laughs> and just laugh a little. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, like I said, um, it's been a month of me doing this. And, you know, I, I just share it to whoever you can and subscribe it and drop a comment, like it, go to my Instagram, Lando Style, send me a DM. I think I will soon, um, not will, I, not think, I will soon do this version of the show, the top five of the of the uh, week in Spanish. And um, I think that's going to be fun. So if you were waiting for it, then wait for it because I think next week I'm going to start doing it. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next week. Bye.